Hey guys, it's Randy with Low Buck LS here again, and in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to install the uh, Tech to Win diagnostic software from uh, GM. And uh, the reason I want to install this software is it gives me the, or it will give me the uh, the same diagnostic capabilities that the GM Tech would have if I were to uh, take the truck into uh, a GM dealer. And this is not for the low buck truck, it's gonna be for that uh, new truck that I introduced in the last video, the 2007 uh, GMC Sierra, the, the low buck shop truck, I'm calling it. So uh, we're gonna fire up the laptop here and attempt to, uh, I haven't actually done it yet, so I hope it's gonna work. I'm uh, gonna attempt to uh, download that tech to win software from the AC Delco TDS website. Um, this is the legit way of getting the tech to win software. I know it does come with that VX Diag VCX Nano, um, and I suspect they may have used some less than legit methods of getting that software. And to be honest, I'm gonna try that method too. I have ordered up a VCX uh, Nano from VX Diag. So, but until that gets here, um, like I mentioned in the last video, I've got uh, another cable, a Mongoose Pro from Drew Technologies mm -hmm. that uh, I've used in the past to uh, do some diagnostics on the GM products. So that's the cable I'm going to be attempting to use with this uh, Tech2Win software. And what this Tech2Win software does is it basically turns your Windows laptop into the old like GM used to have, or maybe they still have like a handheld Tech2 uh, diagnostic. Uh, it's like a keypad and display and can, uh, Basically, it, it has a lot more diagnostic capability than just a standard uh, OBD2 scanner or even uh, HP tuners. Because um, mainly what I'm wanting to check, oh, not supposed to be touching my face with COVID-19 going on. By the way, I hope you guys are all staying safe and uh, um, surviving the uh, quarantine and lockdowns and stuff as, as best you can. Uh, it's quite the, the chaos that's going on in the world right now. But anyways, back to uh, yeah, this uh, Tech2 um, Tech2 Win software basically gives me uh, the same diagnostic capability that uh, a GM Tech would have, and the main reason I want it is I think on that new truck I bought, there's some uh, communication issues between like the yeah, there's all kinds of different computer modules on that truck. The, ECM and PCM and BCM and uh, all kinds of different uh, onboard computers that all talk over two networks, a high speed network and a low speed network. And this Tech2Win software should be able to uh, let me check the status of that network and ping each one of these individual modules, which isn't something that you can do with uh, HP tuners or a normal uh, handheld scanner. So. Let me uh, fire up the laptop and we'll switch to the laptop view and we'll see if we can get that Tech2Win software downloaded from the uh, AC Delco TDS website. Okay, so to get to this uh, Tech2Win software, I'm gonna open up Chrome in the browser bar. I'm just gonna type this AC Delco TDS. And then we're gonna go to the login screen. You'll have to set up, if you're not on it already, you can just go to this don't have an account, sign up link. And I'm already set up with an account. It was a bit of a pain being in Canada. Um, it's gotta verify your address. And for me, it didn't like the format of address I used. So what I had to do was go to the Canada Post website and search for my postal code and enter the address just like it was shown on the Canada Post website. And that, uh, oh, an account verification is required. Please check the email associated with this account. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for a second and we will go uh, answer this uh, verification email. So stand by. Okay, so I got this verification code in my email here. 
So we'll copy that. Now hopefully we can hop back over to here. I've tried a few different codes with uh, trying to get it going with my right at the correct address here. So um, let's try that. <clears throat> Looks like we're in. And every time you log in, you gotta scroll down and click that you've read the terms and conditions. Hit agree and continue. Uh, and now, this is where we go down. And because we're doing this the legit way through the AC Delco TDS website, this software is not free, unfortunately. Um, so I'm hoping that I can just use this until that uh, VX Diag VCX Nano comes in and then I'm hoping I can uh, get that working. But uh, for now, what we want to do, we don't want this Tech2 diagnostic software. That is if you've actually got that handheld unit. But the one that we want is the Tech2 Win software, so down here. And this price is probably going to be different for, for you because you're probably in the, in the States or somewhere not in Canada. But I'm just going to go with the, the three-day option for now because for a month it's almost 300 bucks. And that VCX Nano is way cheaper than that. So uh, I'm going to go three days. Even this is more than I want to pay, but I want to get working on it right now. So we'll go ahead and add that to cart. Now we check out. There's another set of terms and conditions. I guess because it's a big corporation you need to uh, do that a lot. So uh, I don't have any promo codes or anything. Now I'm running into this issue with this address could not be validated again. What the heck? Anyways, I'm going to come back once I've got this uh, all bought and paid for here and then we'll show you guys how to uh, actually download the software so stand by again okay so I finally uh, got through that address business I ended up having I went and cleared my browser cache and re-entered my address again and finally got through and entered all my credit card in information and stuff so now you can see under my subscriptions it says I have access to the Tech 2 Win subscription and it ends on April 9th at 6.04 p.m. So now to actually download the program, I believe we got to click on access. And I think this is just showing us new software versions, which are for Holden, so it doesn't apply to my truck anyways. Unread news available. I'm not real sure what I'm looking at here, but we'll just click OK. OK, upon launching it, there's a whole bunch of warnings we got to click through here. OK, so we want to go to this uh, software download. Uh, and we need the right Java software. Let's just try this start software download. My Java version is out of date. Let's just go later. Let's see what happens here. So it is downloading an application here. Yes, we want to run the application. Available versions. So it's saying it's not installed. This is the only version that's available to install. So we're, we'll select that one and click install. And now we wait, we'll see if this works. Looking good so far. We want it in English, so we'll hit next. Accept our terms and conditions again. Uh, anytime you're installing this software, I try and leave it in the default uh, folder 
tends to work better that way. Begin the installation. Now we'll wait and see how long it takes for it to do its thing. Uh, would I like to install this software? Sure. We'll click finish. And it says it was installed successfully. I'm just going to minimize this for a sec. We might need to, I'm going to do this tech to win quick start. We might need to have that open. License has expired or does not exist. Oh, I might have to go get my, that cable here, my uh, interface cable. So I'm gonna pause it for a second and then we'll come back. All right, I'm back again. I got that uh, cable plugged in. And once we're done and out of uh, screen capture mode here, I'll show you what the physical cable actually looks like. But um, so I just plugged it in and then hit refresh and now it's showing up here. It's the Mongoose Pro GM2 and the Drew Tech Tech to Win and it's connected by USB. So highlight that one and hit OK. Um, it's operating with an unvalidated vehicle communication device. I think they're just saying this isn't the official GM cable. So we'll just hit OK. Okay, let me try this again here. I think I've got it figured out what we need to do here now. Um, I'm kind of learning my way through this as, as I go here. So from this screen here, I've, while I've minimized the, uh, this was the screen we were on. So minimized Internet Explorer. Um, then I don't have that cable plugged in right now. But we go to this tech to win um, quick start. We get this license. It's basically saying it hasn't refreshed the software. So it doesn't know that we're licensed. So we're just going to hit OK there. And then where it says select interface you want to use, for now, we'll just hit cancel. And then we'll see on our tech two here. It is initializing. I'm just going to bring that back down to uh, medium size again. And now that that is open, now let's try this again and uh, update the, because you can see here it says default software. Please obtain the newest version from Tech2 software download. So that's what we're doing over here. We're just going to try the standard one for now reading the content of a diagnostic tool and we can see something happening here looks like we got some action here initializing device or init device So basically it's downloading the latest and greatest software to this virtual Tech2. Um, and now we get a warning that says current version, not found in database, please select custom mode. Okay, so I guess we'll go down here and select custom mode. Try it that way. Never seems to be simple and straightforward. There's always, bunch of hoops you got to jump through to get this stuff going. I'm wondering if that VCX Nano by VX Diag will be uh, will be the ticket. I also did see, not that I condone uh, cracking or anything, but if you search YouTube for uh, like a 365 day lease, there, there may be a way that you can get around this licensing thing. Um, like I said, I don't condone that. I may or may not try that later. Oh, we want North American operations for sure. We want English. I 
actually I want the latest one so we'll go to this 3304 English so that is the application we want so now we'll go download let it do its thing and it's downloading a bunch of stuff here and then now the download has finished so I think our software is installed um, what I'll do now just to verify it works is we'll go out to the truck I'm just in the garage now uh, we'll try and hook up I'll show you guys that actual cable that hooks up to the truck and then we'll try and log in and uh, just see if we can talk to uh, the unit so stand by we'll uh, fire this up again shortly all right guys as you can see we are out in the truck got our Christmas tree full of lights on the dashboard there but uh, we're gonna plug in this is the cable here it is this uh, oh, looking out the wrong way here mongoose by drew tech and like i said this one's probably five years old and it was a was a pretty expensive cable back in the day but uh let's plug it in to the uh obd port down here and it's glowing green there so that's probably a good sign now we'll go back to our tech to win quick start and it is asking which interface we want to use and this is where we'll pick this uh, mongoose pro gm2 that's the serial number there drew tech tech to win usb and then we'll hit ok and we get this warning that it's not a genuine gm cable so we just hit ok and it comes up i'll hit enter here and we're gonna go into F0 Diagnostics. It is a 2007 truck, a light duty truck, GMC truck. Uh, product line is the fifth digit of the VIN. In this case, it's a K. And it is not the Sierra Classic, it is the Sierra. And it looks like we are in. Let's look at powertrain. It's the LC9. You can tell the eighth digit of the VIN is a three. Um, it does not have a manual transfer case. So it looks like we're communicating here. Let's look at the engine control module. Um, Diagnost DTT, bleh, DTCs, let's check them. So it is working. Looks like we have three DTCs here. So let's go and view all DTCs. And there you go, we have a EVAP vent solenoid circuit failed. Just arrow down here. Crankshaft position system not learned. And oil pressure sensor performance so got three dcs <laughs> man i cannot talk today three dtcs but anyways that is uh how you install the tech to win software looks like it's working through this uh mongoose pro cable from true tech so um we're gonna wrap this one up and uh next one we'll uh try and do some uh troubleshooting of our commu communication modules to try and get all of this stuff uh, taken care of. So that's it for this one. We'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.